That is true. All right, you. Do you remember what I told you we were going to go see pretty soon? Yeah. What? The Beatles. Yeah. High five it. I'm so excited about that. Are you excited? Yeah. I'll tell you what. And it's the, it's like the best Beatles. Like Paul McCartney. Do you know that name? No. Let's go over it, okay? He was, there were four Beatles. Right? Hey, Olivia. Where are we going tonight? Paul McCartney? I didn't, I didn't know you knew that much. I just thought we, thought we were going to the Beatles. You know everything, you know? Check out those Beatles. Get it. Beatles day. Awesome. We are ready for the show. Are you ready? All right, high five. Booyah. Awesome. And we're going to make an awesome video from that concert, too, like we're making right now.
other main songwriter was John Lennon. Can you say John Lennon? John Lennon. Yeah, he was really awesome. And everybody loved him a lot. But, uh, well, he didn't live very long. So we don't get to see him anymore. But, you know, you think, I'll, I'll tell him tomorrow. Or I'll tell him next week, you know. And suddenly it could be too late. And you wish you'd said it. And this next song here that I uh, will play is one that I wrote after my old mate John passed away. Let's hear for John. Away and uh, this is kind of in the form of a conversation that we didn't get to have. And if I said I really knew you well, what would your answer be? If you were here today. Knowing you, you probably laugh and say that we've been worlds apart. If you were here today, and when I listen to the record these days, I can still hear the nervousness in my voice. You know what I mean? the struggles that we're going through. Right, and what did he play? I don't remember. How about this instrument? Guitar. Yeah, they got chosen by a little you know, off the school bus kind of thing. When we were real little kids, and uh, I used to get on the bus to stop before he did. And he'd get on, and gradually over uh, years we got to know each other, you know, and then he eventually joined the band. The Beatles. Anyway, so I'm trying to George's house and uh, we were just jamming on the ukuleles and playing songs. I said to him, I can learn one of your songs on the ukulele, you know. So we, we had a little play with them and we'd like to play a few now. Turn me like a lover 
Something in way she moves me I don't want to leave her now You know what I'm leaving now Something is that that shows me I don't want to leave her now You know what I need you now circus poster, an old uh, Vincent circus poster, and it, it was just reading it, it said, be here for the benefit of Mr. Kite, the head of the circus, couple of famous fair. So we kind of just wrote it down, you know. And then there was Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr. That's right. What did he play? Drums. Yeah, that's right, the drums. To Russia. And I've never been. I wanted to go away home just to sing that song and for nothing else. <laughs> So we did eventually go, we were asked to do a concert in Red Square, and in fact we were the first rock and roll band to play a concert in Red Square. <laughs> Besides all that, backstage, there were a lot of members of the Russian government, who we wouldn't normally run into, you know, but uh, they, were, they were knocking around back there, you know, three boots, I think. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, they're all at the back there. And one of, them, one of the guys says to me, that fellow there is the defense minister of the whole of Russia. Oh, big job, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, this guy, defense minister, comes up to me. He says, Paul, first record I ever bought was what me do.
Deus.